Hey everybody, Healthy Prepper here. I got a new toy in the mail. I got my wide mouth jar sealer from Food Saver. And I'm going to give this a try. As you know, I'm always looking for um, a better way to seal food for medium or long term food storage, especially when I'm couponing and I get things that come in packages that are cardboard, wrapped in plastic, which is really not very good long term storage. Uh, so if you get a good deal on products like this, um, other examples would be cereals or cookies, things like that, you may want to consider putting them in a container that is better for long-term food storage. So anyway, I am going to try this out here live. I read some things online about the success rate with these, and I've heard that the wide mouth is uh, very good to use. I also got the regular jar size um, one. To try that as well but right now since these are crackers and I foresee a hand going like this I don't want to use the small mouth jar so <laughs> bear with me I'm going to use the wide mouth on this one um, and I'll see how I do okay here we go focus that for you opening up the old bag trying not to eat any of the crackers as I do this grand experiment okay these crackers land inside the jar. Oh, yep, see that? <laughs> That's just the way it goes. I know there's a better way to do this, but I'm going to get comments. That's uh, okay. This is, this is live action, folks. Nothing gets better than this. Oh, hey, I have dogs. They will take care of those. There's always that three second rule, too. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay. I got those guys in there. Let's see how this goes. Now, <clears throat> I understand when you're doing the uh, the sealing of this, you only use the lid. Um, you don't use the screw cap band for the initial sealing part, which I didn't know initially. Okay, so this has a little rubber ring with a lip, and you just shove that on here. And then if you have the little gizmo on your food saver, it's called the accessory hose. Put it in there, turn your food saver on, hit accessory mode. You're watching for this little button up here to light up. If it doesn't, that third one, give it a little turn. That's my own personal little trick. Hide those off the screen. It doesn't look so messy. <laughs> All right. Okay. And it should know when it's done. I shouldn't have to think about, oh, I wonder if it's done. Oh, it's done. Okay. So let's do the actual test. That wasn't so hard. If it works, it's great. Okay, bringing it up for a close view. Close view. Oh, we have the dent on the inside. Sound sealed. Oh yeah, we got a seal, folks. We have seal. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try my, all my strength. See if I can pop it off. <clears throat> no, not without uh, splitting my skin open. <clears throat> no, that's very, very uh, vacuum sealed on there. I'm feeling pretty good about that. <clears throat> How much extra time? Let's see, this box said uh, expiration date. For those of you who love the expiration dates, the expiration date on this one is uh, June 13. So I guess what I'm going to do is a uh, timed experiment. Um, I'm going to open these in a year. And so I will put the date on it. I'll, I'll open these in a year and see how they taste, and we'll go from there. And I'm going to keep vacuum sealing things, so hopefully the dates will get farther and farther out. And you know, every six months or a year, I'll go ahead and pop one and see what the uh, status is. Basically, what I'm looking for from here these is to prevent staleness. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. It's going to protect it from moisture. Um, bugs can't grow in a in a vacuum sealed environment. So I'm feeling good about that. I know I'm not light protected here, but if I store this in a box, um, that's a good thing. That's an easy way to do it. Another very easy way to protect your things from light in your pantries is just to throw a uh, towel or a sheet or a blanket over them to protect them from light degradation. So that is one thing that you have to you know, be concerned about with jars and obviously breakage. Um, I don't live in a high... Uh, I'm in the hurricane area, not the earthquake area, but with the crazy weather lately, you never know what's coming your way or or, you know, goodness knows what happens. But anyway, I would say this is a success, and we'll go from here.
We'll see how this carries on. Keep you posted, folks. Happy and healthy prepping. I would love to hear any comments or ideas you have on this concept. I know there's lots of videos out there using these, and um, um, I think there's some really good ideas using these as well. And I'm trying to decide what's better, the, the uh, vacuum-sealed dry glass jar approach or the Mylar vacuum-sealed bags with the oxygen absorber approach. And my gut instinct is telling me that both are going to have their personal uses. For example, if I had cereal, this jar is not going to really hold that much cereal. If I open a big box of cereal, I'm going to get like half a thing of cereal. So I'm going to need a lot of jars. And jars are expensive and Mylar bags are expensive. So we're going to have to weigh things out here. I personally get a little tip. I get my um, jars. I go to garage sales and I buy any mason jars that I find. Um, and one thing that I would like to test, and I'll, maybe I'll do this on a video, is um, you know regular glass jars that aren't necessarily mason jars, but food grade jars that you get, um, you know your gravies or uh, olives in or pickles in and things like that. Can you take this gizmo and put the lid on that and have it work on those as well? And would that be an adequate seal? So any thoughts anybody has on those? I'd be curious to know too. And maybe I'll give that a try because that's another good source of inexpensive jars. Um, I would say on average the Mylar bags are probably about a buck a bag, um, but both the bags and the jars are reusable, so it's kind of a one-time purchase and then you, you got it. Anyway, I got somebody coming in the door the dogs are going to bark, so that's what we got for now. Take care, folks. Happy and healthy prepping. <laughs> right here are the three lights that need to pop up when um, you're vacuum sealing your jars, and it's the third one that has to pop up, then you know the vacuum seal is, is occurring. I don't think I showed that in the last video clearly. So this one will light up and this will, un will light up. But this one has to light up so that you know that the vacuum seal is uh, progressing. The other two are vacuuming and bag detected. But it's the top one. There you go. Quick peek at the finished product. I put on the lid when it was... Oh, get my big fat finger out of the way. When it was sealed. 313. And... I used the label for the label, and it's also got the original expiration date on there for those concerned. And I also put some of the uh, how how many calories per cracker. That's my uh, my navigation to a tinier coupon butt method. <laughs> Keeps me in line. So there you go. There's the finished product, folks. That's going to go either into a box or to be covered with a, um, a towel or a uh, sheets or blankets or something to keep the light out. And there we go. Hope it works. Cross fingers. Take care, everybody. Happy, healthy prepping.